Okay, this is video number two for my new YouTube channel. Welcome. Um, my name is Shelly, and you can call me Shelly. You can call me the Métis Mama. My business name is Art by the Métis Mama. If you don't know what Métis is, uh, Métis is a distinct culture that is indigenous and European mixed together. So my roots are Scottish and Cree. And so that's what, in a nutshell, Métis is, but there's so much more to it that I'm not here to talk about my culture. I'm here to talk about my art. So uh, I, in my last video, I shared this junk journal that I made. And in a recent conversation with my sister, who also sells my art to make money for her family, um, she had somebody ask her, what is a junk journal? How do you put them together? And so I'm here to answer that question. So I thought it would be fun to actually work on starting a new junk journal that's similar to this one. Um, so this junk journal was made with wallpaper and I'm going to show you how I put it together. Um, but before I do that, I'm just putting my apron on so I don't get my clothes dirty. Okay. And we're just going to jump right into it. So this journal, I'll just quickly show you before I start the process, is fairly thin, but it's really sturdy. Like, it's got a lot of um, weight to it. And I'm really, really happy with how this journal turned out. So we're going to make another one that's similar to this one. So I'm just going to put this one aside and show you how I started this journal. I got gifted some, so I'm just gonna get some Mod Podge, because that's what we're gonna glue the paper together with. And my handy dandy brush and a rag. Okay. Um, and all I did to, to get started was take two pieces of my wallpaper. So I got gifted this wallpaper for free and I wanted some wallpaper for projects. For projects. <laughs> um, so within a few days of putting it out there to creator, I manifested, or creator, whatever you wanna say, sent me some wallpaper. <laughs> I guess I manifested it. So the first step is to just get your Mod Podge down on the back side of one of your sheets. Doesn't matter if it gets on the other sheet underneath because, and I'm trying to stay in frame here and I'm gonna try to go fairly quickly. I'm not used to making YouTube videos. I don't know how to do all the fancy things that other creators do on their videos. I don't have time a lot of times to learn certain things <laughs> or maybe I just don't want to. Um, I'm just super busy with my family so I always have things going on and it's hard to learn every little thing so I'm just doing the best I can. Okay so then we'll take the other paper and we will just plop it down I guess that wasn't very graceful right okay let's try to be a little bit more okay that's good enough doesn't have to be perfect okay so there's so these two sheets the, the, the other two sheets that I used to make um, this journal they were a little bit thicker. These ones are a little bit thinner. So what I'm going to do is fold this in half like this and then we're going to glue again. So we're going to so that we can give it a little bit more strength, I guess. Bulk. So this is my first step of making 
that kind of a junk journal, but it's not the only way to make or an art journal, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not the only way to make a journal. There's so many different ways. Okay, and this one's going to go this way. And <coughs> actually, I want it to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to use... Um, Maybe a ruler or one of these brushes. Should I use one of these brushes? So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to make a a spine. <laughs> So that it has so that there's some th thickness and it's not like a skinny little journal like that I want it to have I want it to be kind of like that okay so the next step I'm gonna do is just if I can do it <laughs> I might have to get my scissors out I just want to tear the, some of this off because I want it to have sort of a grunge look to it so Now, you don't have to do this step if you don't like this style, but I do. So, there's one. And then we'll do the next side. If I can get it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There. It's exactly how I wanted it. Um, and then I want to do the same to the top and bottom. Okay, and then the top. some more glue down. It's perfect. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Now the next step is to grab um, let's see. Okay, there's a couple things you can do. You can either put down some gesso. And this is all clogged because I take terrible care of my paints and stuff. I'll just pour it right on. So, I'm just using, this is Liquitex um, gesso. So I'll just use that and I'm just going to use a foam brush to brush this all on. So you could do it this way if you wanted to prep your surface for putting paint on or for um, toning down the background. Apparently, like some artists have say that, and I don't know if this is true or not because I don't use it this way, but I don't use gesso this way, but they say that it helps um, when you use, when you use gesso um, and then you use acrylic paint on top, you don't need to use as much acrylic paint is what I've heard. Is that true? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm one of those artists that just I'll watch a few videos and then I try to figure things out myself. Okay, so that's done. 
So we can blow dry that quickly. Next step, I have this box full of like papers. Um, so I'm definitely gonna use that one. I think I'll definitely use these ones possibly, should I? They need to be crinkled, okay. Maybe this one. Let's try those ones for, <clears throat> to start with. I'm trying not to think about what I'm doing. I'm just going to go with it. Because I don't want this video to be too long. This is just a quick, super quick tutorial on how I sometimes do some of my junk journals. Okay? So, let's look here. <clears throat> this is uh, some pattern paper. I'm going to throw some of this down. Take some of our take some of our Mod Podge and we are applying some tissue paper. <clears throat> And it's okay if you can see the wallpaper on the other side because that just adds more visual interest to your create what you're creating. So I'm just putting things down wherever. Okay. Next, I'm going to add, and I just crinkle this up so that it gives it a little bit more texture, I guess. I got this tissue paper from Dollar Tree. My husband and I went to Drayton Valley, which is about an hour north of where we live, um, for our 11 year anniversary and of course we don't have a Dollar Tree in Rocky um, so I had to go and get some some things for for my art and I seen this tissue paper and I was like I have to have that So pretty. I think I'll do one more piece here. Okay, and then I have this. <clears throat> I got these from the Dollar Tree too. These really pretty napkins, but we do not need the inside. So I'm gonna crinkle that up too, rip it up into pieces. And we're just gonna lay this down. Okay. <clears throat> so far, so good. can I talk about <laughs> so I have a private group on Facebook you do have to pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee where I do more 
lives and just talking about different things, my art and <clears throat> um, yeah, just behind the scenes stuff related to my art and my life and but mostly my art. Um, I used to share a lot more about things in my life, but I think like as I've grown and as I've learned about, I don't know, just my healing journey, I guess, I have become less of an open book, but I still share things that are going on because I think it's helpful sometimes to help to, to share your journey and with my kind of art my art is all about helping people remember the truth of who they are as spiritual beings um, and connect with spirit um, you know you do end up sharing personal things because it just comes with the territory when you do the type of art that I do let me see where else do I want to put some maybe here Yeah, I'll put one more piece here. And then there's some open spots here. So I'm going to, I think, throw some... Something else down. Let's see. <clears throat> Here's some dictionary scraps. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> what does junk journaling have to do with learning about the truth of who you are as a spiritual being? <laughs> well, junk journaling is a very therapeutic. It helps you kind of go into a meditative state and connect with that inner voice. It's very, very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Healing, I guess. <clears throat> okay, now. I'm feeling like it needs a little bit of paint. Um, this is still wet, though, but I could still throw some paint down. What do I want to throw down? Um. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a little bit. This is not mixed up very well. Sorry, I've gotta give it a shake. Could have waited for this to dry, but why? I'm just going wherever with this. <clears throat> you know, it's really fun making junk journals from scrap, like from this, like scraps, right? <clears throat> That's kind of like the whole idea with junk journals too, is right to to use up things that you you have. I'm just gonna take some paper, take up some of the excess paint. Okay. And there's the first step in making um, 
one of my junk journals, one of my new style of junk journals. So this will have to dry and once it's dry, I can do what I did here. So on this journal, this is how I started. This is exactly how I started this journal, except I only used two sheets. This one, I, as you've seen earlier in the video, I doubled it and then doubled it again so that it's a little bit thicker. Um, but it's exactly the same idea and after completely dry, I painted this face on it and put some words on it and then I just added some other extra things like on this one I did some stenciling, um, I did some finger painting with these white dots, I did some stamping, you can kind of see a little bit of stamping there. but. Yeah, that's about it. And then on the inside, I did the same thing. I did a little bit of tissue paper, threw some paint down, did some stamping, and then I just left it. So I'll do the, exactly the same thing on this one. On the inside, I'll throw some paint down and maybe some tissue paper, and I'll, I'll do exactly like I did on this one. So that's one way to start this sort of style of junk journal. I'm gonna do, um, should I, I'm just gonna put this aside, aside for a moment and share with you other, another way you can do a journal. So this is a book that I picked up from the thrift store for 50 cents and anyone who knows me knows I like anything to do with star seeds and a sago chuck which is a star people a sago chuck is a Cree term that means spirit lights above in reference to the star people so I decided I wanted to keep this picture intact here for the most part. So I'm gessoing on an outline of a face. This is going to be one of my starseed faces. And then I kind of just did some scallops up here. And I'll do something on the back as well. But after. I'm done painting the front I'm gonna go through and this is gonna be a journal an art journal so I can I'm gonna keep all of the illustrations intact but I want to practice sketching so I'm gonna start using this for sketching different star seeds or extraterrestrial characters um, I'll probably do something here and something back here. I don't know what yet, but this is going to be like a personal sketchbook for me, notebook, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's one idea for a, an art journal. Another idea for a junk journal is this one that I, I did this one while my husband and I were in Drayton Valley for our anniversary. And I absolutely love Beatrix Potter. So I wanted to use one of her books as a mini junk journal. So I made this personal one for myself and I just did a really quick one day extravaganza of junk journaling. My husband's a late sleeper so I did a lot of this while he was asleep. Um, we went to a Chinese restaurant when we were in Drayton Valley and this is the um, fortune cookie like the fortune from the fortune cookie and I had got these stickers from a liquidation center here in Rocky and this one was in there so I thought that was really cute so I just put Panda Express and something simple right um, yeah so I just I brought limited ephemera with me and supplies so I got a few things at the Dollar Tree like these stickers and I just started 
journaling <clears throat> and I did a I think a not too bad job for what I had like I didn't have a lot of supplies with me so I was just trying to think outside the box and be creative I picked up a book from the thrift store there that had some cool wildlife pictures in it so some of the pictures that are in here are from that book that I picked up this is one of my paper dolls that I took with me of Sasquatch another one of my paper dolls so yeah so that is another idea for a junk journal so you got the junk journal you take out all the pages and then you would replace them with whatever pages that you want to put in there which is for me I put lined pages I put dictionary pages I put this like printer paper in blue I put um, some of this brown paper bag paper um, so yeah you just pick out what you like um, here's another junk journal I made it's um, I just use like cardstock for the cover and um, that's an old book page some graph paper um, this is from a magazine a kids a Hello Kitty magazine and some coloring a, a coloring page again from a magazine um, a little girl drew me this picture and I thought it was super cute so I wanted to put it in this little junk journal so I'll keep that picture when I this is my own personal junk journal I made for myself but I have other ones available um, so I'll keep this and I'll put some other drawings on the side so yeah, it's just a really small one. It doesn't have a lot of papers in there. It's, it's how I wanted it to be. Um, I'm gonna make this one into another junk journal. Uh, the pie and the patty pan. The tail of the pie and the patty pan. So I'll keep all of the illustrations in here for um, journaling with. But it's already got some removed, so. These are a couple junk journals that I did with some of the kids at the local elementary school here in Rocky. Um, and I can see that the... Oh, there. Okay, so these are actually just paper bag journals. And I used my paper dolls for the covers. So we did these with the kids and all they did was they took a brown paper lunch bag, laid it flat on one side and the side that didn't have the little flap. So we say, laid it down flat. We just threw some paint on there. We didn't even use paint brushes. We just used playing cards to swipe the paint on the bag. Then we blow dried everything and then they put, they picked out a, one of my paper dolls to add to the cover of their journal. And if they wanted to put words, they could, or add anything else, they could. So um, that's how we did the, the front side. And then the inside with that, the, the flat part of the paper bag, I just stapled that and put a cool picture. This is from a children's book. So it created a, a little mini pocket there. And then they could pick out whatever pages they want. So for mine, I put, of course, some lined paper, some graph paper. Uh, this is one of my six-year-old's artwork from school. And yeah, I just did those three styles, kept it really simple, because I wanted it to be as simple for the kids as possible they are younger um, but they are very full of a lot of amazing ideas so anyways um, made a little pocket there and then on the this part we just stapled and then they made a pocket there as well so and then you could make a pocket here too so, like there's a lot of ideas with this I got this idea from someone on on YouTube and I can't remember her name 
but I did share her video to my Facebook page. And then I did this one. This one's more full. This one I actually did add, um, was it this one? Oh no, it wasn't. I thought it had, wait. I thought I added ephemera to one of these. I think I did, but I took it out. That's okay. So those are really fun to make. Um, and then I have, this is my personal junk journal. So this used to be a book of poetry. And all I did was I did the same thing I did with the one we just made. Um, I gessoed the, the top of it a little bit. Put some paint down. Uh, did some tissue paper. This is that Tim Holtz um, collage paper. And some inking. I took my metallic Sharpie and did some metallic dots. And I really loved the way it turned out. And yeah, it's just a really lovely little junk journal. So it turned out super cute and I'm really happy and pleased with it. And I will do a flip through of this in a separate video for you guys. So that's another style of junk journal. Um, here's another one that I haven't started yet. I've just done the cover. So I've collaged the whole thing. And I, I just cut like squares and rectangles and um, different pictures that I liked. And I collaged it neatly on. And then I put one of my girl's faces down. Made a body for her. Put some wings on her. Made a little butterfly girl. And then put this quote, listen to your heart. So I just have to finish it off. I got to put some nice paper on the inside and pick out some cool papers to put within this journal. And then, um, yeah, just assemble it. And it'll be a great junk journal for somebody. So there's that one as well. Um, what else do I have in here? I think that's all I have for now. Uh, yes. So, um, should I continue on with this? Still needs to dry a little bit. Maybe I'll give it a quick blow dry and we'll continue on a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna throw a little bit of gesso down. And then we'll let this dry and I will I'm going to be making a few more of these, so I'm going to assemble a few more of these journals and make a little collection. Okay, there. Okay, we're going to let that dry and I'll come back and maybe do a second part two of this one. And in the meantime, I'll continue making more of these and then I'll share with you guys what I ended up with. Okay, thanks for watching.